Hello, it's Justin Ride from Mediterranean Garden and Outdoor Living in the UK. I just want to do a follow up from yesterday. If you watched the previous blog and video, I talked to you about the cutworm in the lawn. Um, and I thought it's quite um, important that we should actually just discuss a little bit more the treatment because and I'll quickly show you how that lawn's deteriorated in the space of 24 hours. Anyway, filming's not in central important this time because I'm with my iPad. Um, it's a bit smelly and very hot. So basically, that's the product I've used. Uh, I think I told you before, it's Chlorophos or Chloropyrifos, you can see there. And that's the particular brand at the moment. So I bought that and I'm mixing it with sulfate of ammonia. I'm tending to do more 10 parts ammonia to one part Pyrifos. It's very strong. Um, the recommendations say perhaps you should have a bit weaker than that, but it's a very strong uh, chemical. So please wear gloves and breathing apparatus. Um, so I mix it all together in a bucket. Uh, the sulfate of ammonia itself will give it a sort of nutrition and feed and help obviously put plenty of nitrogen in there and will get it growing again. And whereas the pyrifos itself, because it's so fine, the pyrifos, you need to mix it with something. If you don't want to use sulfate of ammonia, if you're a bit concerned about feeding, you can just mix it with sand. Now, I can just tell you over here, um, this is the lawn we talked about yesterday. Now it's very important that you, when you apply pyrifos or sulfate of ammonia, the lawn has to be very wet. If you put it on dry, it will scorch it and cause more problems. So what I've done here, just prior to this, I've had the sprinklers running for about 10 or 15 minutes, turned it off, put the product on, and I've soaked it again for a further 30 minutes. Um, in fact, I probably will turn it on a little bit more because you really want that uh, product to absorb into the grass and get to the soil where it can uh, um, kill the caterpillars. You can see, look, that's more 24 hours. That's pretty, pretty looking sick now. So I think we just got the treatment there on time. Another thing it's beneficial to do, I didn't have time on this phone. Um, the grass is quite short, but it would be beneficial if you cut it quite short so the product can get down there more quickly as well. Um, now, what I'm expecting to see, I may not see it straight away. It normally takes about a good 30 to 40 minutes. You tend to see then the caterpillars come to the top. They rise from the soil and you'll start seeing them moving and you're quite likely, I've already noticed there's the hoop hoop birds ready and waiting and you'll see some of these uh, parasitic wasps hovering around the lawn. It's almost as they know there's food coming from the top. Now I hope it doesn't do any harm to the wildlife and the birds. Um, it's possibly there might be, but I've never seen any uh, dead wildlife after putting this down. But as you know, I'm not a great fan of using chemicals. But in some cases though, if you want to lose your lawn, um, if you're going to lose it, if we left this for another week, the whole lawn would be um, obliterated. Okay, so I'm now going to just um, wander around back. You can see that area is not so bad, but I think you've got a better view now. Look at that there. You can see to the left, hasn't been affected yet. This side, severely affected. And what will happen is the caterpillars will just burrow underneath and they'll just move under and work their way, just chomping away at those fresh lawn grass roots so again you can just see oh, we caught it in the nick of time um, so any warning signals wasps birds on the lawn definitely or that sort of color you can see it there in fact look you can just probably hope you can catch that you can see the birds hovering up there now i'll see if i can catch those in a minute but i'll make one more video before we leave this and i'll show you then in a week or two's time um, the grass recovering